All right, we found the truck. Funny thing, I used to work for this company back in Oakland, California. I'm already here in the leak. Yep. Oh my. Transmission low air. It's a, it's an auto. That's automatic. Okay. And then the secondary just sort of kept going down. And I got it right here. It's pulled up the road. Okay. What what's the max the air will build up to? We can go check. About oh, so it goes up to about 100 on the primary. Okay. Yeah, you can just hear that thing just leaking out. So yeah, that's the. They make a little kit. I'll turn this off and we'll go over it. But they make a little kit. Yeah, sometimes you gotta buy the whole thing. I'll get under there and see. But yeah, they should make a little kit that you just replace it. I usually just like replacing the whole thing. That's probably what I'll have them do. They're a big company, they can handle it. And then, you know, no comebacks, no nothing. 100% good. Cause yeah, that's that's probably gonna be oh, another five minutes. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah. No leaks back here. So it said transmission low air. Anytime you run out of air, it's gonna say that because you're basically you, you're running. You don't have enough air for your transmission to function properly. So and you're. Most of these automatic transmissions are air functioning. So, no air, no trans. Not necessarily saying anything's wrong with the trans, just you have that issue. So yeah, I mean, well, let's check the, the other waters in there. It looks pretty clean, actually. So yeah, um, I'm gonna suggest getting a whole new dryer. Get a whole new dryer. Um, but yeah, if it was someone like one of my customers, oh yeah, you can see they replaced it in June of 21. So yeah, I mean, I don't know. Really, it don't need to be changed. I'll probably just get the kit. Let me let me get let me cut the truck off and uh, get under here. You can cut it off. And sometimes you're able to spray it. Last there a little maybe soapy water. And sometimes that'll fix it. Now to this guy right here. And it does look like it, they have a replacement for it. Um, but the ones I'm used to usually has three smaller um, hex bolts. So I don't know. Like I said, I may just I may just suggest a whole new one. I'm not I'm not trying to be out here replacing this thing and then something goes wrong. And but I mean, really, you would just you just take that out, take that lock pin out, um, and it should just come right out, and you would just clean it up, put it back in, so, I don't know, I may get both and just figure it out, but we're definitely gonna, I'm gonna clean it, um, and see what that does, like spray this dirt off right here, sometimes that helps, um, but yeah, it's a pretty easy fix, so we'll take care of this gentleman and let him go on his way. I don't know, I don't know why I didn't think about this, I saw that USF haul and I got greedy. But um, you could also just bypass the dryer. And I'm pretty sure I've done videos on that. If not, we'll, this one will be on that. Um, but I have a feeling that they still want me to replace it. Um, but yeah, I guess I could potentially bypass it. I have to make sure I have all the right brass fittings and everything. Because if I have to leave to go get brass fittings to bypass it, I'm just getting a new, they're getting a new dryer. So, all right, but yeah, I just wanted to add that in that you, you uh, you also will be able to bypass this if you were ever on the road and you had this issue which is the dryer leaking the purge valve on the air dryer leaking all right i just want to do your inspections and look right here how dirty this line is this is the air line that's coming from the air compressor and look how dirty and nasty it is so i'd i would the air compressor may be bad as well and that's probably what clogged this down here the nastiness coming through like i said the tanks look pretty clean but there's definitely something going on um, directly from the air compressor here to the air dryer 
think I had bad ears. Got blown up in the but yeah, I hear another air leak. I think it's coming from one of these valves. I'm gonna get under there and check it out. Okay, so sprayed it down. Thought it was maybe one of these. You know, just kind of put your hand over things, maybe shake shake these lines around, try and see if you can hear the air change, like the, the noise of the air kind of change a little bit, maybe if you can feel it with your hand, but I didn't really feel it, but then I look, started looking up here, you got two air cylinders that control this fifth wheel, and just from the way it sounds, it sounds like it's coming up there, I sprayed a good amount of water, and haven't really found anything, so I may have to have him unhook his trailer. I'm definitely thinking this other air leak is the main culprit because it's it starts pouring out when he gets to about 80 um, PSI and uh, yeah I'm gonna just double check the air compressor but yeah this this definitely needs to be taken care of but I don't think this is causing our, our you know the low air issue so stand by So they, the company wants me to bypass the air dryer to see if the air compressor is building air or not, which I, I mean, I pretty much agree with that. I'm down to do that, but we're going to see if we even have what we got to do to do it. Okay, so I don't know if I did this already, but we're bypassing it. Yeah, I did say that. So I'm going to show you down here, but showing these airlines, old and crusty. So this one isn't one to come. You can already see I'm kind of beating this line up. I don't want to break the line. But this part right here on the bottom was not moving. I got the bottom broke free. So I'm going to show you a little trick on how to fix it. So I put my vice grip on it. Just kind of got to break it free a little bit. But now you use your one inch um, which I gotta find and yeah it should come right off so it also helps if you pour pour some PB blaster on here because this thing's been on here since 2016 so this stuff is gonna start getting crusty real quick so yeah, a little PB blaster I mean listen to that a little PB blaster goes a long way oh yeah and I didn't mention this always drain your air tanks before working on the air system on a semi truck going too fast so there's this little guy this gray line so unplug that I'm just gonna probably zip tie it and just fold it over on itself I mean don't get me wrong this is just temporary temporary get you back and this is just to test the air compressor too and I'm gonna I took this off because we're no air is gonna be going to the dryer so I'm gonna probably utilize this to hook up this black line and our main airline all right, this is the finished product. All I had to use was one brass fitting. I took everything else off the dryer. So yeah, you just um, put that in there, put them all back together, a little silicone, and I'll try it out. Yeah, and yeah, definitely needs definitely needs the the new dryer. But yeah, it was uh, leaking leaking out of here. Yeah, right so there. I know it's leaking there. Yep. do it had to go all the way back and get apart but yeah I mean you figure it's been on there since what 2016 probably yeah so about time this thing is turning into trouble a little heat but you don't want to heat up the other end too much because 
this end right here, I can already tell is bend, is starting to bend. So then we'd have to replace that whole line, and I know they don't got that a freight liner. All right, let's see. Over here. Sun is rising in the east, dying in the west. Get out and feel it burn as it goes right over it. The party all night long till it come back up again. Swag as I'm a woman and I'm a woman. 